Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and in this mini Unity tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use game objects in an array in a C -sharp script. Don't forget, click the subscribe button and click the bell icon as well to stay up to date with every tutorial I have about game development on my channel. With that in mind, let's get to work. So creating an array is actually quite a handy bit of code, especially if you have a lot of things to deal with within your script or things it has to uh, maintain. Uh, create so you can use an array on pretty much anything so like uh, integers floats uh, but game objects are something which i've noticed people do struggle with a little bit and i'm, I'm not quite sure why so i figured i would make this so if we create a c sharp script and let's just call this array test and if we open it up in visual studio the way we actually declare an array is basically how you would normally declare a variable in, in a standard way just with some square brackets so for example public game object and then some square brackets and then the name of whatever you want this game object array to be so i'm going to focus on the stone blocks here so let's just have it stone block semicolon so that means that when we actually compile the script head back into unity we're able to then attach uh, all of those objects just onto this one single variable here and it uses the elements i.e 0 1 2 3 whatever to define which one is which so if we save that script head back into unity and then let's have uh, a game object uh, just an empty one and let's attach that script to it now we want to attach these objects onto this array. However, if we try selecting them, it disappears. So we can't actually drag and drop them. The way to get around this is if you click on the object that has the script attached and at the very top of the inspector panel, you see a little padlock. If you click it, it will lock. This now means that this isn't going to change while we select those other objects. So if we select those five objects, and drag and drop them onto this stone block section right here it will automatically set the size and assign each one to its own individual number so we have element 0 1 2 3 4 and that represents stone block 1 2 3 4 5 so by that standard what we can say then is let's say stone block and in the square brackets let's say number 1 uh, dot set active false and save so now what that means is that's defining that whatever is element one will be dealt with which is this one so stone block two is this one right here now this means that when we press play this stone block will turn itself off it will get deactivated so let's press play and put that to the test there we go it's now disappeared Obviously we can turn it back on if we wanted to, but ultimately what is happening here is that it's being dealt with via the element number. So you may want to just reactivate that padlock up above just to kind of unlock it so you can select all the uh, objects again. But yeah, that is basically how you just declare an array as a game object or rather game object array in Unity. It's honestly as simple as that. So guys, I hope that's helped. Um, it's, it certainly helped me when I first found out about arrays all them years ago and how I could actually use them uh, to manipulate various different things rather than declare multiple um, different variables. So guys, yeah, that's how you do it. Thank you very much for watching.